Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review Podcast. Let's review the treatment for cystic fibrosis. According to the latest guidelines from the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, the recommendations suggest giving patients a beta-2 agonist such as albuterol for improving the expiratory lung function in patients. In addition, hypertonic saline such as 7% saline 4 milliliters by nebulizer twice daily is beneficial to all patients because this helps in reducing exacerbations. To help patients with exacerbations, Dornes Alpha has also been beneficial. In addition to make sure patients who have pseudomonas infections, they can receive Tobramycin, 300 milligrams via nebulizer every 12 hours. This reduces the number of hospitalizations. In addition, ibuprofen helps with progression of lung disease and a forced expiratory volume greater than 60% is a indication for giving patients ibuprofen. In addition, azithromycin is also beneficial for patients who have chronic pseudomonas infections because azithromycin also helps to reduce hospitalizations. The use of corticosteroids is not recommended routinely in patients without any asthma or a allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. Also keep in mind that um, patients may need to have fat-soluble vitamin supplementations, especially vitamins A, D, E, and K, or oral pancreatic enzyme replacement with meals. Moreover, a balanced high-calorie high protein diet is recommended and you should consider oral nutrition supplements or enteral feeds to increase caloric intake for such patients. We mentioned that antibiotics are typically given for pulmonary exacerbations and routine vaccinations should also be checked such as the annual influenza vaccine. Also monitoring should be done for patients pulmonary function tests checking x-rays and bone density. All these are going to help the patients to make sure that no new infections start to develop. In addition, growth hormone may improve growth velocity and reduce hospitalizations in some children with cystic fibrosis. And chest physical therapy might provide short-term improvement in mucus clearance. A Non-invasive ventilation is also beneficial to clear the airway, and lung transplantation does improve survival in patients who have a 5-year survival prediction of less than 30%. So what about the diet? Well, a balanced, high-calorie, high-protein diet with special formulas that help increase weight along with oral nutrition supplements and Uh, making sure that the supplemental feeding is done by possibly a gastrostomy tube to increase the caloric intake is recommended. New research suggests that oral carolee supplements do not appear beneficial in children with cystic fibrosis and oral protein calorie supplements are not shown to be effective. What about activity? Well, there's not a lot of research that shows any evidence to establish the efficacy of physical training in patients with cystic fibrosis. In terms of follow-up treatment, patients should receive proper monthly follow-ups for checking their pulmonary function tests, three-month follow-ups for culturing the respiratory tract for any secretions to prevent chronic development of Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and patients who have diabetes mellitus along with cystic fibrosis should have their random glucose levels checked annually starting at age 10. In terms of prevention, genetic counseling is beneficial and genetic screening is routine for all newborns in the United States. Also, um, blood tests to identify blood levels of immunoreactive trypsinogen is beneficial in some cases, and sweat testing appears highly accurate for confirming 
neonatal screening. Also keep in mind that the screening for cystic fibrosis in the neonatal period may actually decrease risk of any form of severe malnutrition and so the screening has enormous benefits. Also another important point about screening is that most carriers are considered prenatal screening beneficial and the general population carrier screening is associated with a decreased incidence of infants born with cystic fibrosis. So research does show that screening is beneficial for patients. That was a board review of the treatment and prevention and also management of cystic fibrosis. Thank you for listening and good luck in medical school.